Hello MT12 lovers, I welcome you. Today I want to show you a Lua script with which you can simulate a real gearbox. In this case the script provides us with a gearbox which has a reverse gear, a neutral gear and up to 10 forward gears. You can configure the maximum number of forward gears through the custom scripts uh, menu here on MT12. You can set the maximum number between 1 and 10 and the uh, 5 is the default and I will stick with 5 gears here in this example. So, what, uh, how does this all work? We need one switch, one trim switch here, the T3 switch uh, I will use here in this example. This is the, the trim switch here in front of the, the steering wheel. Um, this T3 switch is mapped to five logical switches. We need five logical switches because we need two different switch actions for the upward shifting and three different switch actions for the downward shifting. And we achieve these different switch actions by different um, length how, uh, how long you, you press the button. So, well, how does this work? If you are in neutral, you start out in the neutral gear. If you are in the neutral gear and you do a short press upwards, then you go to the first gear. Another short press upwards brings you to the second gear, third gear, and so on. And with a short press downwards, you will go lower in the gears, also for the fifth gear to the fourth gear and third gear, and so on. And while you are in this uh, forward gear range from the uh, first to the fifth gear here in this example, you can uh, shift the gears with short press downwards or upwards. If you want to go to the neutral gear from the forward gears, for example, if you want to go for, uh, to the neutral gear, then you do have to do a medium long press downwards. And if you want to go to the reverse gear, then you have to do a long press downwards. And if, if you are at the reverse gear, then you have to do a long press upwards to go to the neutral gear again. And if you're in the neutral gear, well, everything, uh, everything starts again. You go with a short press upwards to the first gear, to the second gear, and so on. This is the function of the, of the script. The script provides us with two output values. Um, the first output value is the, the value to drive the, a channel. This uh, calculates the, the steps in the forward for the forward gears automatically by the number of the of the gears. So with five forward gears, you have 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, and 100%. Those are the steps for the forward gears. And the reverse gear is minus 100%, and neutral gear is of course zero. And the second output value is the gear itself. Minus one is reverse gear, zero is neutral gear. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are the gears. You can use this value, for example, to show it uh, somewhere on a display. Well, this is the function of the script. Um, the script, the source code is quite easy, quite straightforward. So now no special, uh, no funky shit there. And of course, the script is available to you at my GitHub repo. I put the link to the repo down in the uh, show notes. So please feel free to download the script, modify it, do whatever you want with it, and well, have fun with it. I would say let's go to the PC, check out the script, go through the source code, and after that we meet here again at the MT12, and there I will do a little demonstration of how the script works here on the MT12, how the, the logical switches are set up, um, but the logical switches are all documented in the comment sections in the, in the script itself, so everything you need to know is in the script itself. But of course, I will show you, show it to you here on the MT12 on the on the real thing. And well, I would say let's go, let's check out the script, and then back here at the MT12 and do the actual work. Let's go. Okay, let us serve the source code. Here in this comment section, you have the definition of the logical switches that are used for this script here. Of course, you can modify these uh, settings. And of course, I will show you the definition of the switches on the MT12. But here it is. Everything you need for defining the, or setting up the logical switches is right here in the script. Then here we have our input table, six values, five uh, switches here. Those uh, values get then mapped to our logical switches. and. Here we have the gears value, which you can set from 1 to 10, and the default is 5. This is our, the value which uh, sets the maximum number of forward gears. Then here we have our output table. These values get sent to the MT12 and can be used in the MT12, for example, in the mixer or in, or in the mixes. And here is our channel value. 
this uh, value is well used in the mixes to set the output value of a channel and this channel can then drive, for example, a sound module. Then here we have three local variables. Those variables are used to store some information, to store values from one, from one cycle to the, to the next cycle. And here is our run uh, function. The init function is empty. We don't need uh, to initialize something. And here is our run function. This function has uh, the six input values, if you will. Um, this number of values here must match the number of values in the input table. Six values here, six values here. Again, this uh, function is called periodically, very often indeed. And so keep the code as short and fast as possible. The first thing we do here is calculate the step width, the percentage steps um, 100 divided by the number of gears. In our case, five gears, which means we have a step width of 20%, if you will. And then we check some conditions here. The first condition we will check is a long press. A long press down, which means in our case T3 is pressed for a long time, we always go to reverse. So what does this do? If SWDN3 is active, is pushed, then we do them something. The first, here is another if. We check if we are currently active. That This means, um, is there already a switch action active? Um, this is because you see here we have a duration. And this means as a, a pulse that is triggered through the, the trim switch has a specific length. And this uh, method here, this run function is called very often. So if we would not check if we are currently active, then one click would um, well trigger multiple gear shifts. And this is what, uh, not what we want. We want one click shifts one gear from one to two, for example, not from one, two, three, four uh, in one click. No, only one gear for each click. So we check, are we active? Are we still in the... In the, in the um, switch action from a previous uh, cycle, if you will, then we simply return the previously calculated values. That's it. But if we're not active, if we are entering the first time for this uh, switch action here, then we set the current gear to minus one, which means reverse gear, the channel value to minus 100, minus 100% reverse, and we set now we are active, now we are in a switch action, and return the calculated values. That's it. Then the next block here checks if we have a medium long press and this is true for up and down. We, on a medium long press, we always go to neutral. So um, this is virtually identical to this here. The only difference of course is here at the check. We check SWDN2 and SW up 2 if they are active and if we are well, if we are active from a, pe from, a, from a previous cycle, then we simply return 0, 0, which means channel value 0, gear 0, neutral. If not, then we set the current gear to 0, the channel value to 0, and we now are active. And we return 0, 0, which means we are in neutral now. Then the next block, or the next two blocks, if you will, um, control or uh, handle the short presses. Here we have the short press up, which means from neutral to one, to two, to three, and so on. And this the, in the opposite direction from five to four to three. And here is a stop at the maximum number of gears. And here is a stop at one. So if SW up one is active, and if we are currently active from a previous um, action, uh, switch action, then again, we simply return the previous, previously calculated values. If we are not active, if we are entering the first time here for this uh, SW up one um, after, um, well, after we have finished the other switch actions, then we say if the current gear is lower than the gears, the maximum number of gears, then we calculate the current gear to the current gear plus one, which means we increment the current gear, and we calculate the channel value 
uh, with this here current gear times gear step. The gear step is calculated here. In our case, it is 20. And well, then we set active again and we return our calculated values, always the same. And this here again is virtually identical, this time only um, downwards. If SWDN1 is active and we are active from a previous run, then simply return the value. Otherwise, if the current gear is greater than one, because we are at, if we are at one, then there is a stop and we have to do a medium long press or a long press to enter neutral or uh, reverse gear. So if current gear is greater than one, for example, if you are in gear in the second gear, then we can decrement the current gear by minus one or, or by one, decrement by one and set the channel value to current gear times gear, stop, uh, gear step. Exactly the same as here. The only difference is minus one plus one and here this check and this check. And again, we say now we are active, you have to wait until this uh, gear action is finished and we return our calculated values. And if no switch is pressed and if we are not active then or if we are yeah well if no switch is is pressed currently and then we get here we say active is zero this means we are completely um, well finished with all the actions we have, we have um, processed all the switch action actions and we say active is zero and we return the last calculated values and that's it that's everything here on the script. Very straightforward, no funky shit. Well, quite easy, don't you think? Okay, again, this script is available to you at my GitHub repo. I put the link to the repo in the show notes. Download it, modify it, have fun with it. And now, check out the MT12, how all this is used on the MT12. Okay, back at the MT12, let's go to the model menu. This is a new model, no modifications. Go to the model menu and define all the logical switches. We need five logical switches. All the logical switches will have the function edge. So I select here edge. Then V1, this will be our trim switch for shifting upwards, T3 minus in this case. And V2 we set here to 0.0, .0 to 0 0.3 and the duration is for all the logical switches 0.2. So this is the first logical switch, then I will copy this and paste it here, then edit and I will set here 0.4 and here the two arrows to the left, that's it. Then paste again, edit. Now T3+, plus. T3+, plus is downwards, this is shifting to the lower gears, towards the lower gears, that's it, oops, T3+, plus. that's it here for this, I copy this again, paste it, edit it, and set this to 0.4 to 0.7, then paste it again, and set this to 0.8, and here to the two arrows to the left. And that's it. Now we have all the logical switches defined. A short press upwards on T3. Here you can see L01 goes briefly, um, gets bold briefly. I hope you can see it. It's very short. Then a long press. Just hold the uh, switch until you get the signal here. You get the, the trigger. Then short press downwards. L03. A medium long press downwards. L04 and a long press downwards, just hold the button until LO5 gets active. So that's it. Now we have five states, five uh, switch actions with one logical, uh, one uh, trim switch here. Now let's configure our script, go to custom scripts, by at scripts choose our script uh, not cruise gears we need, the script gears. Here you can set the name because you could uh, use this script multiple times, times on a model then it is very helpful to have a name here. And now we have to um, assign all the logical switches to our switch um, input values here. Go to LO1 and here LO2. 
LO3, LO4 and LO5, finally. And here you could set the maximum number of gears. The default is five and I let it um, here at five. Then don't uh, mind that here are minus 100 and minus one. Uh, this is just here at the first configuration. I will now turn off the radio and then you will see we are at the zero. Turn off, then turn it back on again. Hello, Model system. menu, back. custom scripts, gears, and as you can see, we are now at neutral. Short press upwards, first gear 20%, short press upwards, second gear 40%, third gear 60%, second gear 40%, and so on, until fifth gear, then is a stop, downwards with a short press, a medium long press, downwards, you are at neutral, a long press downwards, reverse, long press upwards, neutral again, and short press upwards, and with a long press downwards, you get, or you come to the reverse gear medium or long press upwards and you're neutral. Now let's, let's use the script output in the mixes. I will use channel three for this and the only thing you have to change here is the source. Set it to Lua channel one, Lua script channel, uh, channel, um, <laughs> channel value. And now at the monitor we see what we have. Short press upwards, first gear, second gear, third gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, long press downwards, reverse, long press upwards, neutral, first gear, second gear, third gear, medium press, medium long press, downwards, neutral, first gear, second gear, long press downwards, reverse, long press upwards, neutral gear. And that's it. Now you have a script that simulates a real gear box with reverse, neutral and up to 10 forward gears. Again, I put a link to my GitHub repo where all my scripts are. Please feel free to download the script, modify it, use it um, the way you like. And if you find it helpful, then, well, please subscribe to the channel, give it a, thumb, a thumbs up. This would be a great support for the channel. And if you want to support me any further, then I will be um, very grateful if you buy me a cup of coffee. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, goodbye. Servus.